bird shot, 12 gauge. Buckshot, 12 gauge. <laughs> Rifled slug, 12 gauge. Non-rifled slug, basically like a musket ball in 12 gauge. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for tuning in and Merry Christmas. We're a couple of days here before Christmas 2021. So I wanted to do kind of a fun video for today and that is on these right here. These are BPS Best Performance Shot Shell. It's a 12 gauge, 34 grain, one and one fifth ounce 12 caliber slug. Now what's weird is, it's a slug, right? But it's a round ball, almost like a old musket ball. I picked these up from trueshotgunclub.com. Those guys have a bunch of really cool shotgun shells. So these are kind of over a specialty shell, but I wanted to test them out and kind of put some rounds through this new Black Aces Tactical Pro Series R 12 gauge. Let's take these over to the table, take a look at what they are, maybe cut into them a little bit and compare them to other shot shells. So like I mentioned, the 12 gauge we are using today for testing is the Black Aces Tactical Pro Series R semi-automatic shotgun, five in the tube, one in the chamber, kind of a neat budget option. Gonna we'll be testing this thoroughly. And if you can see right here, if I can get it to focus, made in Turkey and they spelt shells wrong. So you'll be seeing a full review on this very interesting budget option here shortly. But for today, it's a good platform for testing these unique BPS slugs. Now I tried to check out where these are made. What's the deal with them? There's a QR code on the side here that takes you to a German website, it appears, and obviously I can't read any of that, but it looks like it's some kind of European-based shot shells, kind of an interesting slug, so we'll be testing that out. But I wanna show you kind of the differences here on a few different types of 12-gauge shotgun shells, if you haven't looked at those before up close. Up first over here, we have your typical bird shot, and you actually expected very small little BBs, little wad kind of controlling them. Right in there, all right, bird shot here, buck shot, nine little shots. A lot of people compare this to maybe like nine, nine millimeters coming at you, a little bit slower probably, of course, but kind of interesting. So that's buck shot, a lot of people use this for self-defense. Here is a rifled slug, you can see the rifling there to help with the spin. Hollow on the inside can help it keep going forward because this thing is obviously very heavy and is going to lose a lot of velocity very quickly. So we'll be testing some accuracy out with this as well as this very interesting BPS round right here. Like I said, it's kind of like a musket ball. Very weird. It's heavy, smooth, round, kind of neat. You can play some marbles with it. Let's get to some more shooting and have some fun and see what this little ball can do. Maybe even kind of compare it to a rifled slug. So right at 10 yards away from that right paper target right there. The right hole was from one of the BPS little rounds there and the left hole was from the wad following it. So we're gonna shoot two more rounds through this Black Aces Tactical and test to see how she cycles and then also kind of see the accuracy of this a little bit too and as well as the BPS slug itself. This was hitting a little bit high at 10 yards before, so I'm gonna just aim down a little bit. See how we do. <laughs> Cycle good that time. This thing only has like 20 rounds through it. It really needs to kind of get broken a little bit more. But I aimed at the bottom of the target, <laughs> dead center at 10 yards. So not too bad. I mean, that's pretty, pretty accurate so far. Let's push it back some, kind of see what we can get out of this. Right at about 30 yards away from those two targets. This is the uh, SIG Kilo 1000, picked it up off Amazon a while ago. Been working pretty good, I should do a review on it. So, 
30 yards away, there is a uh, busted up soda can over there, or seltzer can or something. I'm gonna shoot one of the BPS rounds at it. Aim maybe, I don't know, two feet below. Let's kind of see where this is. I'll probably throw a red dot on here for the full review. I think it'll just be fun and a good torture test for pretty much any red dot. Let's see where she hits so I can figure out where to aim at that paper from here. All right, she's around about two feet, maybe two and a half. So let's aim maybe a foot below the paper. Up first, we have a tornado slug, 70 millimeter sterling rifled slug. Down right there. Do the rifled on the left. I already marked everything on there for the holes, so. Rifled on the left. <laughs> I don't know if I hit it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's try the PS. Did I hit this one? All right. Let's check them out. This is really bizarre. Unless somehow that rifled slug went right through here, the rifled slug is not on here. Even though I aimed about a foot below, which is the exact same thing I did for this one. And check this out, right there. Almost center at 30 yards. That is some fascinating results here. So let me take this here, let's X this out. Let me shoot two rifled slugs at this one. And I'll come back to this. Shotgun shells are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So two rifled shells, left target. Two the BPS shells, right target. Take our time, see how she does. Oh, hey there. So, came home from the range to find out that the recording for the next clip was not there, whether that's the camera just stopped recording or my gloved fingers just didn't hit that button good enough. I don't really know. But the next clip was four more rounds being shot at that 30 yard mark, two rifled to the smooth ball. And what ended up happening was I realized the rifled was a much different hold than the, the ball ammo, which is interesting because at 10 yards, they both seem about the same. So kind of pushing it out, you can kind of tell the rifling made a difference. Now, whether or not that meant it was more accurate or not, well, you just take a look at this next clip. See for yourself. All right, two rifle rounds that actually hit paper. One here, one here. Almost looks like either the wad or maybe two hit up here, which is possible because that one hit the first round and I fired two more shots through here. It could be two rounds next to each other. But you come over here and honestly, I'm a little impressed because once you figure out you have to aim low, look at this, one, two. I mean, <laughs> that's not bad. Accurate for what it is, it seems to be doing pretty good. So I just grabbed a whole handful of these rounds here. Again, I could pick these up from trueshotgunclub.com. I'm gonna run full tube, see how they handle. And I threw a water jug and three seltzers out there. There's actually an old seltzer can out there. If you do shoot things at a range, pick them up. Pick up your trash, leave it pretty much cleaner than you found it. And if anything, the brass vultures will come in and swoop in and collect a lot of the brass. So feel free to leave them some crumbs if you'd like as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, really helps me out. Head over to Instagram, follow me there, like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet. And we'll see you guys in the next review. Here we go. <laughs>